Oh, yay, Dan's wearing a helmet. What does that mean? Uh, is he skating again? No, I'm not skating. It's uh, one of those skate parks where you have to wear a helmet no matter what when you're inside. Today is going to be about Matthew skating this. It makes sense you have to wear a helmet at this park because it's really gnarly. Everything's super steep. The coping's pretty hectic. Like, everything about it makes me think, okay, if you're going to hit your head somewhere, you're probably going to do it here. Probably not filming, but I, the reason that they usually do that is, one... Uh, liability reasons, I assume. Like, I think that they're afraid that a board's going to shoot out and hit someone in the head, as unlikely as that is. Or the more logical reason that I would think so, when I used to work at a skate park and we had a helmet rule, uh, when someone wasn't wearing a helmet, they would always, like, act like they weren't skating or something like that, and then, like, get on a board and then skate a little bit, and then, like, we'd yell at them. And it just, like, eliminates all of that confusion. Like, if you're in the park, you're definitely wearing a helmet. You're not sneaking in runs without a helmet. Uh, obviously, I'm someone who supports no helmet rule, but... When there is a helmet rule, I'm gonna follow it because, uh, well, it's not my skate park. All right, yeah, so it's all Matthew. The first thing I said was, I was like, this looks like the least skated thing ever. And he's like, oh, this is my favorite thing in the whole park. Love this pool. See that, how it like slightly goes down? That's like the best thing to go do grinds down right there. And then like that hip, that's pretty fun. The hip that has like vert on both sides, <laughs> that thing looks terrifying. Like you can hit it, come around, and then hit it front side like 5-0 it's pretty sick so you're saying it spits you in a good spot to get these corners to come back to grind up it yeah and then uh this flow thing like this giant flow part it goes from like giant back pool to like oververt thing to like street court that's yeah. part of the entire park like super fun it flows perfectly uh then the weirdest things is back pool it's just like no one skates it and it's like super oververt the whole pool is most of it check it it's like oh uh, over pool I, yeah i gotta look at this oh my god a euro got that actually looks pretty fun what's the gt got oh the grant taylor one. Oh, he transferred out of the extension top right corner from the coping all the way over to this side so like out of the extension over this over the channel into that that's a gnarly get yeah he got he did it front side is it possible to even do backside so there's two versions of matthew there's matthew and then there's matthew with pads so right now he just has a helmet. When he puts pads on, he goes higher and further. So the idea is like to talk him into like messing with this gap. But I'd want him to pad up. <laughs> that is the first thing he did today. He has not skated until just now. Oh, Zach's kid. This, I don't like this curve ledge only because of the fence. Because a lot of times with the curve ledges, you fall over, and putting your arm in that is not fun. Uh, we're debating on whether I need to go to the car and grab some bearings or not. Because I'm pretty sure I hear that thing squeaking. Literally everything you've seen so far is everything, like every take. He hasn't tried or fallen on anything yet. This is start to finish his session so far. And that's his first fail. Okay, so if you've ever watched any of those like videos where I'm at the combi pool and there's that one skater, his name's Ben uh, Schroeder, I think is how you say the last name. He's an older gentleman, super gnarly. I'm like the biggest fan of him. And he randomly pointed out this trick that he did. He like gapped out of this to transfer to this side to 50-50. Best skater. Hold on, he's already talking about, he like literally just started, he's already talking about hitting the Grant Taylor gap. gap. Um, let me film it from, yeah, we'll go here. Okay. What do you think, first try or a run out? Sorry, sorry. Why are you apologizing? That was weird, that was weird. Why? <laughs> he's... I'm sorry, you're... you can maybe put pads on. Yeah, no, I mean, you got it. So the toughest part I think about this is like carving over this. If this was set further this way, you could carve in more over to get that angle. It would be easier, but he has to rely on going high to get the distance. You can't like hit it at this angle where you just fly far. You gotta go like 
basically do it like you know how to ride vert, which clearly Matthew does. like a back tail or something okay so this gap i don't know how to describe like i want to almost find a different angle so you can see like how not realistic that is you also like i feel like you made it by the skin of my teeth which is even less skin than your teeth i feel like you really were like right here when you came in should we do some other like let's let's not go so right into like the the, the bet like let's just take a step back let's just see you warm up a little I love this one-sided mini ramp of yours. Okay, new rule. Every single time that you go up on this bank, you have to try like a shove it or a kick flip or a boneless. You have to do something that's not a kick turn. I suggested a stand-up front 5-0. That's what he gave me. Oh! Like, when he does, like, a four-foot-high frontside steel fish, a disaster smack. But I cheer for the carving backside kick flip. That's when you know I'm used to skating with Matthew. Like, seeing the really gnarly air stuff is so easy to him that, like, seeing something slightly different that also he can do first try is jarring. Like it's like skaters like him that I'm like, I'm glad that slappy tricks on curbs and stuff isn't thrilling enough for him to get into. Cause then like, he would just like run us all out of the camp. Like that sort of like gnarliness and dedication. Imagine that applied to some of the stupid tricks that I do. How much cooler it could be. You got a little bit of a heel bruise from running out of those airs? Well, maybe go less high. I should went to my knees. <laughs> you don't have pads on yet. So he's talking about rolling up on this and then carving over the top, like rolling on the narrow deck. I don't know if he rolls in with it or if he just carves around it. I don't know the gist. I don't know where I need to stand, uh, but he said he's gonna do it. Yeah, that looks scary. I don't know if I'm in a bad spot. Scared halfway up. Wait, that was your first time you ever rode over the whole thing? Yeah, I always get scared like halfway, like the first one. And like go back to fake it. So that is actually your first time going all the way. You did second try, it looked easy for you. I just, I never like, I usually am here alone. So you don't have a reason to commit? Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> uh, I'm more of a vert dude. I don't really, this is kind of vert, but like. Yeah, I mean, you're riding next to vert. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want you to fall in either. This little section seems like it's your speed. Freaking Pedro did the fattest 540 right there. Right here? In the line. I believe it. Straight two. He always from this bottom, like, little bump. Uh huh. Into the. Oh, into the transition. Like, yeah, over the freaking coping. What was that in? Uh, the homies video. Uh, there's a whole homies video where they came here. How about to get some like light warm up lines oh, in this yeah, thing no, before you? Yeah, I've never even tried Yeah, yeah, because he's, he's pointing out transfers and stuff he's never even done. Let's, I, he's, sometimes you gotta slow him down. Just do that straight on. I was like, I, you weren't supposed to. I was gonna premise this video like, he tries the Grant Taylor gap and then you just like do it right out the gate. But yeah, I'm done hitting this thing. Okay. That was his first run in there. Yeah, I don't, I, like I understand that like a lot of transition skating is a lot of commitment and just like confidence in what you're doing because the body movements are less jarring than skating street, but you still need to warm up. Like there still has to be some movement to have that confidence. And he's just definitely one of those guys who just doesn't do that. They just go right into whatever they're doing. Like the first trick is always some big transfer 
just to get them comfortable. It, it's just too foreign to me. I don't get it. It's like the equivalent of like going out with Leo Romero, which I've heard stories of him like the first ollie that he does of the day is onto a handrail. Uh, so yeah, it's just it's a trip. Hear that wheel? So he says his nut was just too tight, it's spinning now. Yeah, you dodge those cracks, you save that mother's back. Look at look how balanced he is, tech guy, dude. What would you do if like right now he did like a back tail kick flip? This is like steep, grippy concrete too. Like this park reminds me of skate parks in places that are not California where the concrete's grippy, the coping's dry, the transition's steep. This is not like a California built to learn how to air park. This is a skate park that was probably built in like 1999. Try not to run out of stuff. You better embrace knee sliding. Wear your knee pads. Oh, it's no. kind of skate park. Hopefully a kid's okay. Did he just fall? Yeah, so you know if he does the Grand Taylor Gap right out the gate, uh, he's gonna be able to do a lot more here. So let's see how far he can actually push it because he says there's a bunch of stuff in here that he has never done, that he wants to try, that he's been scared to try. And it's like, you know, you, you filming sometimes is a reason to try stuff. Uh, as well as like, I think he's working on a video part right now. So be uh, looking forward to that because there's been a couple tricks that I know that he's done that I didn't film. There's been no hints on my YouTube channel of what he was trying at these different parks. And it's like really messed up. Like if you think what he does now is crazy, this part's gonna be ridiculous. I don't know where it's dropping, whether it's gonna be on Thrasher or the Pal Peralta page or whatever. I'm assuming Thrasher though, because that's where all parts get dropped, but look forward to it.